Hello my friends and welcome to day two of this sun inspired series. Today's class is a sunset wind down class and as ever I always recommend you have some blocks nearby to help you perhaps sink into the poses more deeply. My name is Nin and I am a yoga and pilates instructor and I will be guiding you through this practice. So with that said, get into something comfy and come down on your mat and I'll see you there. We're going to begin this class in hero pose on our knees. And just like you to take a few breaths, bring your hands to your heart. And just acknowledging where you are on the mat today, how you're feeling, and what has brought you here. And as you take an inhale, we'll say the mantra to ourselves. I inhale strength and exhale doubt. I inhale strength and exhale doubt. Taking a few more breaths here today. Acknowledging perhaps anything that's happened to you today that's distracting or preoccupying your mind. Just inhale and exhale and let it go. All you need to worry about for the next 20 minutes with me. So you're on the mat. and that you inhale strength and exhale doubt. So inhale, bringing the palms up above you and then bringing the hands to your heart again. We're gonna begin in child's pose. And then this is a wind down class. I'm just bringing our forehead down to the mat, letting it Rest here, maybe massaging your third eye, which is that bit in between your eyebrows. And just sink in with your hips towards your heels a little bit more. Maybe you can walk forward a little bit with your fingers. And then inhale and coming up into tabletop pose. Just making sure that your hands are beneath your shoulders, your knees are beneath your hips. Inhaling, arching the spine, let your head come down. Tuck the tailbone in. Then exhaling, bring the heart to the mat. Lifting up the tailbone, lifting up the chin. And then repeating that a couple of times, whatever feels right for you. And then tucking the toes under, we'll come into our first downward facing dog. So lifting your hips up to the sky, pedaling it out here. Let the blood come down to your head. And for many of you, it'll be the first time today that you've been in this inverted pose. You might have been on your feet all day or looking at the computer. So just let the blood come down, nourishing your brain. Pedaling it out with your heels. Don't worry if your heels can't come all the way down to the mat, that's absolutely fine. Walk the dog, as they say, letting the blood come down. Aligning yourself here, stretching out the spine. And then we're going to come into a low lunge. So bringing firstly your right foot down to the mat and then bringing the left knee down to the mat just stretching out here and if you need some blocks to help restore balance in your hips just now and bring oxygen there bring your blocks either side of you 
just look up towards the sun, checking that your hips are square with the front of the mat and you're not leaning out to the side. For many of you, you might not even need your blocks. You just come down with your palms to the mat. And the hips are often a place where we hold a lot of physical tension. But also we hold a lot of emotional tension there as well as a result. So sometimes when you're doing these poses that open up the hips, you can feel quite an overwhelming sensation of release, either emotional or physical. So breathing in to that feeling, acknowledging it, and use the breath to heal any of that stress or tension, directing it to the hips. And then slowly, We'll come back into our half split. So here, just lifting up the right foot and stretching out the right hamstring here. Taking some restorative breaths here and then slowly begin to creep back and sit here on your bum. Now here I'd like you to bring your left foot out to the side and as you sit up straight here maybe just untuck your bum so that you can go deeper. Inhale palms up towards the sun and then slowly begin bend forward on towards your right leg feeling that wonderful stretch in the hamstring so here again you might only be able to come towards your calves or your knee maybe you can come the whole way and put your hands around your right foot we're all on a journey here so do whatever feels right for you today Feeling that stretch, this feels all the way up through your back, through your sciatic nerve. It's a really nice stretch here. So lean into it. Let your breath control what you feel and how you react. Coming up now, and I'd like you to bring out your left foot and bring it over towards the right hand side of your right thigh. And here we're going to take a seated twist. So lifting up with the left arm, putting it over your knee, and then looking out over your right shoulder. Inhaling here, coming up, and then dropping the hands, bringing this time the right elbow towards your left knee and we'll get even deeper looking out over your left shoulder. Now twists are really good for detoxification as the body contracts when you twist and once you release the blood rushes in so it creates a lot of detoxification and purification by doing that. So you're constricting some areas now it feels really good to get that beautiful twist on the spine and then coming up to center and then releasing 
and now we're going to take a pose called a shoelace pose. So I'd like to keep your right leg out in front of you, but keeping your left foot where it is. And then if you can, bending your right knee here. And trying here now to stack the knees so they're on top of each other, like so. Now this might be enough for some of you, for others you might want to bring your arms out in front, bring your right arm under your left elbow and we'll come into eagle pose or eagle arms. And then you might want to bend forward. This is another really deep pose for the hips but also for the shoulder blades if you chose to do eagle arms. And repeating that mantra that we said at the beginning of the class. I inhale strength and exhale doubt. I inhale strength and exhale doubt. And then unwrapping those arms, calming up. And then I'd like you just to bring your left leg in front and swing it almost around so that you return to your tabletop. Just aligning yourself here, knees under the hips, wrists under the shoulders. Tuck the toes under and we'll come into a downward facing dog. Pedaling it out here, noticing maybe how one side now feels compared to the other. And stretching down through the heels. Take a few breaths here, acknowledging how your mind may now feel as well. After doing one side, do you feel off balance or do you feel refreshed and eager to come in to the next part of our sequence, which will be to repeat that on the other side. So just here gently lifting up your left leg stretching it out and then bringing your left foot in between the gates of your palms begin to bend your right knee and we'll come into our lunge here again just do whatever feels right for you today breathing in deeply opening up those hips gently coming down and surrendering to the mat and all the sensations you feel. And then gently coming back into our half split. Bringing your head down towards your knee if that's available to you today. And even flexing your left foot. Beautiful, feeling that wonderful stretch up the sciatic nerve and as we gently begin to come back now onto our bum and bringing out the right foot out to the side and flexing this time the left foot palms up to the sky and then gently begin to lean forward over your left leg holding the calf here and if you feel it's an option today, bringing your hands around your feet. Again, the, feel the juice going to the sciatic nerve.
Take one last breath here, coming up into seated position. And then as before, but with the other leg, bringing this time your right foot towards the left hand side of your left leg. And then bringing your right arm up above you, looking out over this time your left shoulder behind you. Feeling that deep twist. And then coming back to center and feeling that twist on the other side. So bringing your left elbow in line with your right knee here and just use it to push you around a little bit more. Feeling that wonderful stretch and twist in the spine. This feels really good for the desk workers amongst you. As often you can remain very static throughout the day, not give your body or back the nourishment it needs. Okay, and releasing. So just come back to centre here. Now I'd like you to bring your knees in line with each other, stacking them on top of each other. So if you just listen to how I get into this posture. Bringing your right foot down to the side here, leaving it really where it is. And if you can, bending your left knee and stacking them on top of each other like this. And then option again, bring your palms out in front of you. This time bring your left arm underneath your right as we come into eagle arms. So clasping your palms together at the top, stretching out the shoulder blades and then there's an option to bend forward if that's available to you. Beautiful. Just one last breath here. And then unraveling the arms. And then using your right foot coming out in front and using the right leg to propel yourself around to tabletop. Where we'll take a few more cat cows. Arching the spine, tucking the tailbone in, let the head drop. Then exhaling, bring the heart to the mat, lifting up the tailbone, lifting up the chin. And then repeating that a couple of times, whatever feels right for you. Gently bringing your palms down towards the side as we come into our final resting pose, Shavasana. So coming down here to the mat, opening up your palms to the sky, Surrendering now to the mat, let yourself melt into the ground. Inhale and then exhale to release. Release any tension in the face, in the jawline. Unclench your teeth just sinking into the earth. Repeat it.
And then I'd like to wiggle your hands, wiggle your toes. And bringing your arms over your head, stretching out your arms and your legs into a pencil position as high, as far and stretchable as you can. Then bringing your palms down beside you, bending the knees and come over into fetal position. And then gently pushing your way up into our easy pose or lotus pose, the crossing the legs. Rolling back with the shoulders, lifting the palms up to the sky, the sun, and bring it to your heart. Bringing light into the center, into your day and say, I am exactly where I need to be. And we bow and say namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I look forward to seeing you again for our 20 minute practice tomorrow.